I'll try one more time. Okay, it's going. I'm losing some time on that because I was looking to see if the splits were working. This is a relatively casual speedrun, though, of course, because, like, what would I be doing? I can't not read the chat from time to time, guys. Like. Although I can be bad at the game. Hello? What? I just, like, went totally blind. That's not the right play, but that's fine. Way to go! This game is all about making the wrong move and then hating yourself for it. Is my controller not clicking correctly? That'd be terrible if I just started and now I'm having that issue. Oh god, that's rough. Okay. That's the opposite of what we wanted to do, but it's fine. Prepare to I think most most speedruns get like 15 seconds on that one, but eh, we can make it up. We can make it up. Apparently not. Just fill up my screen. Fill up my screen. Let me look at the clear line. Let me see that line. <sighs> it's been a while. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. I've been trying too hard to clear... ...the main mode lately. But this is my favorite mode. Because apparently... Yeah, I am a Team Rocket fan, I suppose. No, it could be worse, could be worse. Show us what you got. I think with the way that I timed it, each round should take like not each level, but each set of levels way to go. should way take to go. Um about five minutes each. I think that's kind of doable, you know, because that's on a slow pace. My goals are very mediocre. But for our first attempt, I didn't want to, like, set my goals to my PB and then not be able to do it. <laughs> so. I hope that's okay. All right, let's go. I hate the plus and minus buttons. But all the dialogue that Team Rocket is saying in these parts, these are baked into the song, by the way. These aren't, like, randomly playing or anything. They say the same things at the same time, every time. And... Basically... Hold up. And these voice lines can be heard in the show... Throughout, like, mostly early season two. Early season two, you hear a lot of these. Okay, let's see what you can do. But I don't know about those ones. Because those ones are separate. The ones that are baked into the music. Like that alright, or the let's go. I've heard those in the show. <laughs> you want citations? <laughs> You know, don't tempt me, because you know I'll actually do it. And you know I've wanted to do it before. But I should really spend my time more productively. Like, there are better things to do than this. Okay, fine, okay, fine. <laughs> oh my god, it, it would be a good excuse to go back- It would be a good excuse to go through and watch those episodes because they're season two episodes, but they're not- They're not Orange Island's episodes, so I haven't watched them nearly as much, and it might be fun to watch some other episodes, you know? Aside from what I always rewatch. 
little, little change of pace. A little change of scenery is always nice, you know? That one's for all the Tomodachi Life fans in the chat. <laughs> You know, I've gone to a situation lately, if anyone is watching this, that knows anything about Pokemon anime. I am in a situation lately where I want to potentially reach out to some older fans. Show us what you got. Um, to talk about the community. And I don't know if anyone's watching that would know anything about that. But the hashtags I put in the video mean maybe someone is, and if they are. I want to talk about the best of times and the worst of times, including before I was born, so... Way to go. How involved were you in the online community, though, is my real question. <laughs> yeah. I need like the re I need people that were like 14 years old. All right. At that time. Let's go. Not now. Fourteen year olds like rule the internet in the weirdest way, you know what I mean? And I appreciate them for it. Way to go. They're the backbone of fandom as we know it. And all we do is make fun of them. Way to go. Like, let them be them. Let them do their thing. I say that and I immediately remembered my hero fans and I want to take it all back. Like, never mind. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> uh. Okay. Well, You're name dropping you a specific <laughs> elementary school? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Have I heard of Date Alive? I've heard of it. Way to go! And unfortunately, or fortunately, I'm not sure, that's as far as that goes. And I guess it's an anime based on the fact that I've heard of it. So. And I've seen like a monstrous amount of animes. But... Dude, I wish I could go by, like... I wish I could go by the in-game time for this. Because it makes me feel better about myself that it's five minutes instead of... We are ready whenever you are. Eight. <laughs> but... No one uses the in-game timer for this speedrun, surprisingly. And I wouldn't recommend it, actually, for this particular emulator, because there are glitches with the timer on this emulator I've seen. Like, when you're loading save states and stuff, and then you do a- Like, if I were to load a save state right now, and then do, like, a full run... ...without using the save state, it'll still mess with my time. I did record video of that. And I'm considering putting it in a Discord or something, so people know. I've never been the one to stumble upon a glitch before, so it might be fun to post about it. Oh, Pop, we got food. Way to go. Well, we'll bolted it. I, I didn't. I already ate, you know. I ate. <laughs> Show us what you got. Oh, look at my rainbow splits. <laughs> Sorry, I saw that option. I was like, hey, I like colors. This, this game, honestly, though, it's so cute the more I think about it. Like, the people that made it really took the effort to, like, make each level like they're wearing a different outfit from a different episode. I think this is the one from... A Misty Mermaid? Or, no, maybe not that one. I don't know. There's too many, like, mermaid episodes. Unpopular opinion, maybe, but there are too many mermaid episodes. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yay! <laughs> All right, let's like, go. Like the people that made this really did like the show, I think, because there's so many cute little nods and references. Way to go! Way to go! Like anime fans are eating so good. I love how this game gets officially re-released on, like, all of Nintendo's platforms eventually. <laughs> like, this is a priority for them. Because it was on Wii, which is normally the preferred way of me playing it, but I actually don't mind this version very much at all, so... What you can do. Let's see what we can do. Way to go! Take I don't know why I love seeing we when referring to myself. Oops. <laughs> I think it's a sign I was destined to be a streamer. This is looking really monumentous. I don't know how I did that, actually. That, that one was pretty cool. Yeah. Or there are demons. <laughs> Dude, wait until my you VTuber has lore. Are. That'll be a really funny comment. See, part of me is like, man, I wish VTubers were treated just like regular streamers. Like, it doesn't have to be for weebs. And then I'm out here like, no, nah, but I did make lore, though. I felt like it was socially necessary to have lore, so I did make it. Normalize not having lore. <laughs> my lore can be just my real lore. My cursor movement is whack. Just not enough. Okay. Okie dokie. A lore dump stream. That's called a debut. <laughs> Normally. Prepare to battle. Oops. I'll stop spamming the pause button. I'm losing milliseconds every time I do that. And I'll stop losing those milliseconds. Because it's not like I have seconds or minutes to make up for it. Okay, let's go. Where is the clear line? When I move the screen like that, that's really what I'm looking for. Because once I can see the clear line, I can just, like, go out. Go all out. You know? That's all that's really necessary. The wrong one to try to get. Way to go. Way to go. Dude, Lucky Snipe is going to Legoland tomorrow. I've never been there. Yeah! Here's a cool stage that we skip. For? It's payback time. Love Butch and Cassidy. Uh, this stage is completely unnecessary and therefore takes up time, so we just skip it. We just skip it. <laughs> and now we get married. Oh, I've never been to Legoland. I, I don't even know where Legoland is in America. Um. I think there's one in Florida, because I think my cousins went there once. I don't know anything about Lego, but I'm not gonna lie, like, I wanna go. <laughs> Common Bush and Cassidy W. No, when I was in high school, I lived for, like, 
Um, my favorite people were like Tracy Sketchit and like Butch and Cassidy. Because I wasn't like the other girls. I wasn't like the other Pokemon fans. I was only interested in niche cringe. And I had no friends. <laughs> so. Kind of lines up. That's the real lore right there. That's the deep lore. Also, if you couldn't tell, um, the beginnings, especially the 3D stages, there are just so many blocks. You can literally move anything and, like, accidentally clear blocks. It's wild. And the best strategy is just to keep going in a circle, basically. And I know that. But sometimes I just, like, switch the direction of the circle partway through. And it's easy for me to forget how close I am to the clear line, and I can waste a bit of time clearing things that don't need to be cleared and can just be pushed off to the side. <laughs> That's really interesting, actually. Butch's voice made me hate okay, Eric Stewart for five let's years. See what you can do. <laughs> Listen to the Japanese version, though. That's where it's at. I think what really made me hate it the most was that it's clearly just like a goofy dub joke, but fans would take it so seriously that like every every website that talked about these characters or that ever mentioned them were just that that they took it like it was canon. Like they would head canon as to, oh well, it's this and this and this, and I'm like, no, it's it's literally like a throwaway gag that they didn't realize would be for a recurring character. It's not that deep, guys. <laughs> so... Also, I think it's really funny that Eric Stewart brings up that role to this day in a recent panel. Actually, in all of his panels that I watch online and see in person, um, he mentions that. He's like, oh yeah, you know, in Pokemon I voiced, I voiced, I voiced James and Brock and Butch, and I'm like, why is he relevant? <laughs> like, he still remembers him. I think that's kind of funny. Okay, we're at the clear line. Stop clearing shit you don't need to clear be more targeted. Stop talking about your pseudo beef with Eric Stewart, even though it is hilarious to look back on. Okay. We are ready whenever you are. How are we only on par three? That was just the wrong thing to do straight up. <laughs> Way to go. Way to go. This is a game I often play to relax, so I often find myself accidentally going on autopilot. And I'm like, whoops. Way to go. And honestly, I'll, I'll, I'll be for real, I'm not the biggest fan of the 3D mode. Um, but it is a part of this segment, the spa service line clear. And that's my preferred version of all of them. So... I think I like it because you're really only up against yourself. Whereas in some of the other modes you have, like, opponents and you want to beat everyone. This is just like, nah, man, like, just hang out, have fun. I love playing the special stage with Butch and Cassidy, actually, because it's just, like, hard mode. It's like, oh, this one's hard to beat, but if you can, you're kind of cool. That's a little bonus extra, a little bragging rights. But it's not for the speedrun, and that makes me sad. That's genuinely deterred me from doing the speedrun in the past. Prepare to battle! Way to go! Ooh, I love a good battle. Way to go! Oh my god. Um... Way to go! Way to go! See, this is- see, some people speedrun and they stream it. I should not be one of those people. All I want to do is, like, read the chat. Every two seconds I'm like, oh, I'll just pause it. And I'm like, no, I can't! We're, we're timing it! I, I downloaded Live Split, guys, and this is serious. This side is high, and I'm just gonna... I'm trying to pull it up, but I really am just making, making so many moves! There's so many moves to be had! 
I also thought it was kind of funny in this mode that James always says, like, keep it up. Like, why is he encouraging me? Like, are we not on opposite sides right now? It's a little silly. A little goofy, maybe. Well, that worked out. <laughs> Epic Guy 69, hello! Show us what you got! I gotta stop pressing, just spamming it too much. Way to go! Way to go! See, normally this speed run to takes me. Way to go! Way to go! I think my best time is. Oh, I don't remember now. I'm getting the numbers confused. I have a screenshot of it, but we can't look at that. And I only know my best time in in-game time. I don't know my best time for real-world time. I don't know anything about real life, I only know about the game. So, that makes it a little, little tricky to keep track of how well I'm doing on a grand scale. I think I'm doing pretty good for myself, though, you know? Like, all I'm trying to do is beat myself. And that's going alright, I hope. <laughs> what really screws me over is the Giovanni fight at the end. Spoilers for those who don't know what happens at the end, if this is like a serious game. But you fight Giovanni at the end. And it uses the same game mechanics as the special stage, where you have to try to, to do combos and chains. And as you could imagine, the fastest way to do that is to make, like, a really big chain. Um, and for those of you who've been paying attention, you would know that I'm very bad at making a chain. <laughs> I say as I make one, but that's beside the point. That's a coincidence. We gotta start getting this line down. I think some people who speedrun this, they like keep track of how many blocks they've used and all that crap. And I'm like, whoa, my brain is not doing that. We're just looking at it. Yeah, she finds at the end! Meowth makes a great flower girl. <laughs> okay, let's see what you can do. They really said, yeah, you know what? You guys remember the, the episode where they dressed up and did like kabuki and we had to it was really hard to localize? We're gonna put Way that to in the game. That's right. Way to go. I love that for them. It's bold, you know? It's never been done before. Way to go. Except for the fact that it literally was in the anime series. My brain just totally blanked for a good, like, three seconds. It might have only been one second, but it felt like three seconds to me. The end of the day and it's weird that i was thinking about this i was like why am i streaming this game aside from just the fact that i like it and i play it every day and it really comes down to like i wish more people knew about and appreciated this game the speedrunning community for this game is actually massive and i sometimes like i'll watch their videos but they did like an annual event last year where there was like a whole tournament and there was like a cash prize and all they were doing was speedrunning this game in all of its various modes. And I'm like, that's so cute and go. crazy. I wouldn't stand a chance. Way to go. No! Way to go. <sighs> that was kind of dumb. How could they be running out of costumes? Do you know how many outfits these people Me wear? Whenever you are. These people wear a different outfit every episode. They could have done like, I don't know. 
Wow, I'm totally blanking now. I can't- Not that I'm trying to think of one, there are just so many, you know? It's like when those people say, name a woman, and you're just like, huh? <laughs> like, you can't think of anyone? Even though, like, you know so many women? Dude, for a minute, though, this felt like this game was playing itself. I feel like this has been a really good round. That went pretty fast! I don't know anything about Dragon Ball. Prepare to battle! I've never played the Pokemon GameCube games. Way to go! To be honest, I don't really play a lot of Pokemon games. I think I've played all the mainline games, but like I never finished. Um, any of the black and white games, nor did I finish the black and white anime. Um, but, so my, my Pokemon knowledge is mostly anime based. It, therefore it's based. Uh, <laughs> and I get, um, and even then I only really know like season one and two, a bit of Johto, most of XY, I watched that one. XY was actually good. I was really sad when Sun and Moon came after it. Still kinda am. Like, I love Citron. Serena's okay, but the fans scare me. I love Bakicha. Nah, Diamond and Pearl. That's a good game. That's a good game. Contrary to popular opinion, I actually really liked a Sword and Shield, actually. And when I found out go. that the Diamond and Pearl remake wasn't in the style of Sword and Shield, and they instead did a really cheap, stupid-looking, terrible version for Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond or whatever, I was so sad I didn't even buy it. I was like, why would I buy a game that I already own on Nintendo DS, but on the DS it looks and sounds better? I just did not see the appeal. And I'm sad that now Diamond and Pearl's not gonna have the remake it deserves. But I did like the story and structure and everything of Sword and Shield as well. It felt more like an anime series. Which is funny, because the anime series that went along with it felt less like an anime series. Don't know if I said something controversial, but chat do be moving. So I'll find out when I'm done this, which looks like it'll actually be soon. I'm actually not doing too bad at this one. Oh, I missed one. Okay. All right, let's go. No, I want I want to see June Stream Battle Revolution. She played that game like, like it was a story game. <laughs> and it was so much fun to like connect your DS and play because you could play on the DS and use Pokemon from your game. So your opponent wouldn't know what moves you were doing because you were playing it from your DS. It just worked so perfectly. And I kind of hope a, for a similar reason is why they've had to keep delaying putting Pokemon Stadium on the N64 Switch online. I, th I really hope they're trying to make a way that you can do multiplayer without like seeing each other's screens and everything. That'd be really cool. Or if they'll put the Pokemon games on the Game Boy emulator and let you transfer Pokemon that way. I don't have Pokemon Home though, so... I'd prefer if it maybe wasn't that purpose. My brain's really messed up. I was sitting here thinking, why am I hearing this weird, like, this weird noise in my room? And then I realized it's literally me hitting the controller so fast. My Pokemon rule! 
Round six, we're not even wearing costumes anymore. Might as well be naked. We know exactly who they are. No costume, but still a sleigh. And it's just gonna play the regular Team Rocket music again. I guess it's meant to be like a finale, but I feel like they just were busy have anything else to add. They're like, yeah, what more do you guys want? <laughs> like, really, what do you want? Way to go. They gave us so much that honestly I'm okay with it. Way to go. Now, my biggest fear with this level, now that we're at this part, is that sometimes, and sometimes even speedrunners, I think, um... Way to go. Can die in these levels. And if you do, it's kind of a it's pretty big time loss to have to start the level over from scratch. That wasn't obvious, so. My goal is to not die. That's my main goal. Um, I also have a main goal, which is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody, but that's. That's actually secondary right now. That's how seriously I'm taking this. I don't think in level one I'm gonna die, but it's definitely in like some of the higher levels of this level. Cause you know every stage has multiple levels and I don't know what to call them. Yo, this is moving really fast. You guys seeing this shit? Like, it's even getting to be too slow for me to, like, do this strategy. Oh my god. Oh, holy shit. Okay. Prepare to battle. I hope they put all the Pokemon games on the online service. Way to go. Because it's not very often that I actually do pay for stuff like this. Like, I don't like subscriptions. I like buying it once and having it forever, but I don't know, the, really the reason I upgraded to online plus expansion was because I wanted to play to Pokemon go. Puzzle League, and honestly, playing Pokemon Puzzle League mobile is pretty great. I didn't really always see the advantage of playing games like on the go, go because I'm thinking, Way yeah, but like, they're go. better when you're, you know, on the TV at Way home, but I'm like, you know what? I actually get to play the game so much more now, and I can play it when I'm at work, on break, and it's, it's just so nice. Dude, imagine if you could play this game in the car as a kid. Like, dude, children these days are absolutely winning. They can play Pokemon Puzzle League on road trips. They're not gonna hate going to grandma's anymore. They can play Pokemon Puzzle League. I wonder how many kids actually play these games, or if only adults play these games. <laughs> these older ones. I know my cousin... Oh my god. My cousin, for the longest time, didn't have a Switch. He just had, like, a Super Nintendo. And so his daughters, like, only played Super Nintendo. And they'd be like, oh, I'm playing Nintendo! <laughs> And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> like, they don't even know what games are. Like, they've been raised on a Super Nintendo. They're playing Super Mario World. Other kids are playing Super Mario Odyssey. So maybe kids like that are playing these games on road trips. But dude, there will be no more boring funerals if you can play Pokemon Puzzle <laughs> Oh man. I just remembered at the time that, like, my family was, like, low-key banned from bringing kids to this one funeral home. Because, um, all the kids were, like, a little too rowdy. Like, they were like, oh, if they don't want to- we don't want to have them in the- in the actual service, because they're not gonna pay attention, it's gonna be awkward. We're just gonna let them, like, keep busy in the basement of the funeral home. Um, you know, and they can just, like, hang out there and chat or do whatever. And I don't know what they were expecting. <laughs> But my one cousin was like, yo, we used to- oh, we used to play hide and go seek in the dark. We also got banned from doing that because, like, I don't think there was any incident. Like, I don't think there was any injuries. Well, okay, there was one injury, but she wasn't complaining about it. And I don't know why they banned us from playing it. We weren't allowed to play hide and seek. We also weren't allowed to say the word funky, you know? My, my family was kind of wild. But <laughs> there's a story. 
for all of these, I'm realizing, and I'm not getting into them. But you weren't allowed to go to this one funeral home because we were like eating their sugar cubes and like stealing their bits and bites. Cause like bits and bites taste good. We wanted to eat them. And we were like running around playing hide and seek in the dark. So. All right, let's go. So, you know, maybe that, I mean, maybe we wouldn't have done that if we had Pokemon Puzzle League. <laughs> way to go, way to go. Yeah. Way to go. But yeah, thanks for pointing out the R wasn't centered. I genuinely never noticed. I've been playing this game for years and I never noticed. My day be so fine, then boom, years of my life will never be the same. I always forget how crazy my family shenanigans are until I'm bringing them up to people who don't know us, and then I'm like, shit. <laughs> what the actual hell is going on? I still think it's BS we wanted to play hide and go seek in the dark. I think it's because we were playing it and like we went into like my aunt's bedroom and she was like, you're not supposed to be in my bedroom. But it was actually so fun. Okay, this is going pretty well. Going pretty okay. No, it couldn't have been. It couldn't have been our uncle's funeral. Okay, let's see what you can. Because I think there are a couple people at play in that story that would have been somewhere else if that was the case. I don't know whose funeral it was. Like we. Like, oh my god, we got so many like relatives that like aren't close enough to me that I know, but are close enough to people I know that we would go to the funeral. Like I don't know what's going on. I don't even know the full details of that whole funeral thing. You know, June, ask mom about that one. Because I want to know whose funeral it was. <laughs> Guys, I don't think I'm gonna get a PB. But as I said, I genuinely don't remember what my PB is. So we might be cutting it very close. I have not been playing optimally. I can admit that. And unfortunately, this isn't like a game that you can like learn the speed run for. It's like you just have to be good at the game. Like sure I could learn tips, but like I'd have to actually be able to act on them. <laughs> like I still have to have the speed and the skill to pull it off, which I don't know if I have, you know? Okay, that's the last one. Now we're gonna try to beat Sakaki. We were careless. Get the cutscene. Spamming the plus you button. Will serve me. <laughs> so I'm gonna serve him apparently. And yeah, we're gonna serve cunt. Um and this one I have to make combos and chains, which you know I suck at. Um, so I normally default to vertical fours. Because I see them the easiest. Um shoot. I don't wanna die. We can do this a little bit. You'll notice I filled the screen up because every time... Every time the screen is full and I make a good move like this, Jigglypuff sings. And that stops all the blocks from falling. 
and I'm banking on that to not die. Oh shit. And so I don't want to get rid of the stack that's sustaining my life. But if I do die, I don't want that to become a problem for me. I think I have to lower it. We're lowering the stack. We're risking it all. Oh, he's got one HP. Come on. He's got one HP. Give me something. Give me anything. Is that a PB? I don't know. <laughs> I think that's when you stop it. That's the end of the game! I got Giovanni first try! Doesn't always happen. <laughs>